I'm asked from many former colleagues, how does continually deploying fast and often not cause more issues? We see news articles for companies who have faced major and often embarrassing interruptions due to an outage related to a new initiative. Shouldn't we then deploy less often and take more time? This makes some sense and is one of the reasons why IT change control frameworks are widely accepted. These frameworks ensure proposed changes, which pose a risk, must go through a level of rigor and governance prior to deploying, often with standard lead times. So isn't deploying multiple times daily a conflict with established controls? I see a lot of IT change managers cringing at this point, and this is often a heated topic when introducing DevOps practices. Our missing variable in this debate is the risk of an outage. If we modernize our technology and reduce, or better yet, remove the risk altogether, then from a change perspective, deploying becomes a low risk change request requiring minimal oversight. This is achievable through making every aspect of our solution as modular and as interchangeable as possible. Automating all our steps for deploying, ensuring we can roll back in an instant, and empowering our DevOps team so no other team or handoffs are required. Give the one DevOps team the ability to deploy plus the responsibility and accountability to resolve should something go wrong. In summary, IT change management is still required to provide controls over high risk activity. We need to address our technology to reduce the potential and impact of outages. If we then empower our DevOps team with the right tools and framework to deploy fast, we are in a great position to innovate and ensure our business thrives. Would love to hear how you have incorporated DevOps practices with change management. Just direct message me or leave a comment below.